UGD coming at you with Mrs. UGD Sweet Beretta, guys. Yeah, take a look at this custom bird. We're going to give you a rundown of this. Joining me is Mrs. UGD. How you doing, babe? Doing good. Yeah, that's awesome you're with me. I like it when you do the videos with me. Mrs. UGD's Beretta. Yeah, it's been <laughs> transformed into an OOAK. That's comic book convention world talk for one of a kind. Just drink that gloriousness in. All the work has been done with the express written consent of Mrs. UGD. We started with the Beretta 92 from Riker Arms in the Wichita, an Italian bird with three magazines. The first step on these Berettas, you got to get the Wilson Combat Buffer. Yeah, drop that baby in there. Keep that uh, locking block from getting slapped around too much. The next important thing, the G conversion. Yeah, guys, got to have the G conversion. Carry guns don't need a safety. you got a finger and a trigger. Oh, and decocking. Is there anything good or bad? Then oh, not at all. She is an excellent decocker. To lighten the trigger pull, we dropped in the 13-pound hammer spring from the Wilson Combat, and then we also went with the Wilson Combat short uh, trigger reach. Yeah, so that helped it quite a bit. Then we dropped in the uh, trigger conversion unit. Touch back on that here in a minute. The Elite Flush Hammer Spring Cap right there. That is from the Ernest Langdon. Yeah, no lanyard anymore, babe. You cannot wear it on Wednesdays. <laughs> On the eBay, we came up with this factory adjustable extended mag release. I've never seen one before. I'm really digging it. What do you think of that? It's awkward at first because it sticks out, but... It does stick out. <laughs> it is definitely an Audi. You can angle it to where... You know, it, for me, it's been really comfortable, and I've gotten mm -hmm. really like, like that. But the problem was stainless screw. So we started dropping in stainless... Well, I started dropping in stainless screw. <laughs> yeah, you part. did. I knock stainless steel grip screws, takedown lever, slide lock, trigger pin, but we went with a nickel trigger bar. And the reason on that is, uh, of all the parts, the I knocks seem to run a little bit, so I went back to this nickel trigger bar. It, it really feels good. There's no over travel. Great reset. Now, the almost gun from the eBay. Yeah, there was some poor dude. He had his sweet 92 I knock stolen. The serial number was filed down on the frame, so the cops kept the frame. He got all the parts back. We bought that for next, what did we pay, like $130 or something crazy like that delivered. Something stupid. It was just insane. It was a buy it now. Uh, Mrs. Judy and I had a little bit of an argument. Yeah, it was a big one. It's kind of sleep on the couch kind of one. The debate was over how should it look. I wanted the stainless barrel, barrel inside the black gun. She wanted to have the stainless slide with the black barrel. Went back and forth. I lost that vote, by the way, from you guys, like 20 to 1. It was an ass-kicking, guys. I won. Yeah, but then we had the brilliant idea. <gasps> Put it together just like that, and whoo, it does look awesome. Now, the next step on this hot rod, it, yeah, it was time to give her a polished job. Yeah, look at what Wilson does. Sterling Archer, yeah, shout out to that cat. I mean, I was going deep in her. I mean, real deep in her. Hammer, hammer spring, sear, everything polished up. The numbers speak for themselves. Yeah, guys, listen to this. Six and a half pound double action, and it is like glass, guys. Just nothing, no hang up. Beautiful. Single action. Ready? Two pounds. Ten ounces. Very smooth, guys. After we sell the parts that will not use, add the cost of the gun and all the parts that we bought. Babe, tell them how much we're going to have in this hot rod. Less than 500 macros. That's a little luck on eBay, guys, and just a great idea for something special that's really turned into one of the coolest Berettas, I think, on the planet. You know, yeah, take that, Ernest Langdon. But, yeah, I'm still not as excited. I love that stainless steel barrel. We were talking about it up on the arms list. You had a great idea, because what'd you find on arms list, babe? Da, 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 da. Oh, another 92, babe. N another 92. So, guys, if you break into the UGD estate, the second to last thing to go through your head is, damn, she's holding an awesome looking Beretta. Hey, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you think we've lost our, our crazy Maine Coon loving minds. She wants a damn Maine Coon.